you are the youngest head coach in the NBA. He's going to be the youngest head coach in the NFL. What are, what are the advantages of being a younger coach? Everyone talks about how it could be a drawback, but for you, what have you found is the advantage of being a younger coach? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't see it as much as a drawback. I think it's a great advantage. One, you have the ability um, to, for just creative thinking, for new ideas. You start, you, see, you start to see the game a different way. You start to manage relationships differently. Your communication styles are differently. And, um, you know, you're still young enough to where you can build that connection with your guys on stuff other than basketball. Not that other coaches can't, but I think it's a little bit easier to do and, and work for. And so, um, you know, I think that's kind of the space that we find ourselves in as a team is the ability to think outside the box, be creative, try, try different stuff and, uh, you know, really find unique ways to build relationships. So I'm, I'm really excited for him. I, like I said, I've gotten to watch him work a few times and the way he owns a room and, and the way he builds relationships with his guys, I think is, uh, it was awesome to see. You know, in talking to you so many times and also hearing Gerard Mayo talk about it, it feels like the younger generation feels it's important to be students of leadership, if that sounds right. You know, always working on that part of it and learning how to not just better yourself as a leader, but help other people develop. Does does that feel true to you that younger coaches are more in touch with that these days? I don't know if it's we're more in touch with that. I think just leadership has changed over the course of years, you know, and if you take a look at all facts of life, we're not outside of sports and anything. Leadership used to be kind of more, you know, uh, do as I say, not as I do, so to speak. And, and it was, you know, this is the coach and what he says goes. And I think leadership has kind of evolved um, in many different facets where it's about listening. It's about empathy. It's about uh, giving guys a space to be who they are. At the same time, you do have to be authoritative and stand for things and, and have a high standard. And so I think it's just, you know, over the course of uh, society, and over the course of time, what leadership looks like has changed. And, um, you know, it's about, understanding that, you know, I, I think relationship management, leadership management, those things are just as, if not more important uh, than the X's and O's.